guys, it's Kayla from Killing It With Coupons and here is my Valley Produce haul for you guys this week. Before I share the deal with you guys, I just wanna let you guys know kind of in price breakdown, Valley Produce doesn't show um, the price that you saved on your receipt. So what I actually did was I snapped a couple pictures of the products in the store so I could see the actual retail price of the product and then share with you guys that. The only thing is their deli meats, their um, bulk products like the nuts, the pistachios that I picked up this week and their produce don't show, um, you know, there's no savings reflected. So in total for all of these items, I ended up paying $38.54, which includes tax. Now on just the products that do show savings reflection, which is the paper towels, the pasta sauce, and the brown and serve um, sausage, would have cost me in total $21.25. For just those products, I paid $11.94, and saved $9.31. So again, the difference in the deli meats, the pistachios, and the rest of the produce products, which again, at just about any other store for what I ended up paying for them would have cost probably double or triple head amount. I saved just about 50% on my bill this week, which was pretty good. So um, I'll let you guys know about all of the deals and the products and things like that. Um, first off were the strawberries. This week they are $1.69. I picked up three of them and the same with the raspberries. Those are also $1.69 and I picked up two of those. And the blueberries are 98 cents. Now they are the smaller like six ounce. Normally, typically blueberries come in about a pint. Um, and I normally wind up paying about a dollar or so for uh, pint size. So this was a little bit cheaper, but I am going to make some breakfast parfaits. So I did need the blueberries, which again, weren't too bad of a price, but they were smaller size. The cucumber was 43 cents. And I always add this to the side salad I make for the week along with the tomatoes, which were 68 cents per pound. I picked up 0.89 pounds. I paid 61 cents for the three of those. And then the apples, which were a little bit more of an impulse buy. They weren't actually in the ad and I wasn't planning on getting them. But the Honeycrisp apples, which guys, you know, Honeycrisp apples don't last too long. They are not around, you know, all year or anything like that. They are just kind of a fall specialty. Um, they were 99 cents per pound. So I picked up six of those. I got 3.82 pounds, which ended up costing me $3.78. I also got some organic gala apples over at um, at Jewel, so I just added those in as well. Like I said, I wasn't planning on getting them since I got the apples over there, but seeing that they were only 99 cents and I love Honeycrisp apples, they are my favorite. Um, I kind of had to had to pick them up at that price. And then the um, pistachios, which you guys can see here. Now pistachios are not cheap and my mom has been asking for a deal on them. So I kept, kept my eye out um, and saw that they were actually on sale for $7.49 a pound, just under a half a pound in both of them. So I paid $3.45 for the both of them, which again was just a little under $7. Um, again, not super cheap, but pistachios normally are not that cheap. So um, it wasn't, again, too bad of a price. And whenever um, there's a deal on like bulk nuts and things like that, I normally pick them up because again, I am a vegetarian. So, um, you know, nuts and things like that are really good. And pretty much everybody in our house loves pistachios except for maybe like my brothers I don't know if they love them or not but me my mom and my dad both really love them so I did get two packages instead of just one and then also the deli meat this week we got Polish ham which is $2.99 a pound we normally wind up getting just about um, a half pound of deli meat every week so I did two different kinds at, at a fourth of a pound each which this ended up being 84 cents and $3.99 for the um Butterball oven roasted turkey breast picked up a little bit over a fourth of a pound for a dollar twelve, and then um, some American cheese deli cheese was two ninety nine, and again got a little over a half of a pound of that, which was a dollar seventy nine. And then on to the um, non-produce items, and I'll let you guys know what the retail price of them were so I can tell you guys how much I ended up saving. The one deal, which wasn't maybe the best deal, was on the um, paper towels. They retail at $7.57 at Valley Produce. They were on sale for $3.99, so I saved $3.58 on that. 
and um we're actually like i think we have maybe four or so rolls left and instead of waiting and hoping for a better sale or um you know having to pay retail price at like aldi or something like that i just went ahead and picked these up this week since i did see they were on sale not the best price but um again i noticed we were a little low so i went ahead and picked those up with the ragu pasta sauce these are actually a limit of three this week um, they are normal price $2.47 at Valley Produce. I picked up three, which would have cost $7.41. They're on sale for $1.66. The actual ad says five for three, but when you look on your receipt, it says $1.99. Subtracts the $0.33 cents to make them $1.66 each. So they technically are $4.98 for the three of them. So the difference that I saved was $2.43 on those. Um, and it's not the best price, but it was actually pretty competitive with um, all these pasta sauce. And I'm actually going to be using these in freezer dinners that I'm making for this week. So again, not too bad of a price for those. And then the last deal, which I got on the Banquet Brown and Serve Sausage, these I ended up saving over 50% on. They're normal price $2.09. And and for the three I picked up would have been $6.27. They are on sale for $0.99. Cents. They are a limit of three. So I picked up three for $2.97 and saved $3.30. So that is my haul for this week. I'll show you guys my receipt. And I'll show you guys kind of how Valley Produce's um, sales work. So if you guys can see there are the strawberries, the raspberries, blueberries, and then the banquet dinner. So how their savings works is they'll have it listed at a normal price like 149 which is the price if you go over the limit um so then the computer will take off that 50 cents making them 99 cents but the only savings that's reflected is the limit savings so if you were to again buy four of them you'd be paying 149 for the fourth one and 99 cents for the other ones um so again when it shows the savings reflected that is how it goes even though technically they do retail at 209 again it doesn't reflect that savings on the receipt so that's why i just figured I'll take the pictures. I'll also share the deals with you guys on Instagram as well. And that way um, I actually also know what I am saving on the actual um, products. So that was those. And then underneath that was the, um, the pistachios and the cheese, turkey breast and ham, the paper towels, the pasta sauce, which you guys can see right there. And then, um, oh yeah, I almost forgot about the pineapple this week. That is on sale this week for 78 cents. So I did pick up one of those. I think that's everything guys. I think I didn't miss anything else. Um, and then the cucumber, which is 43 cents and the honey crisp apples again, 99 cents I picked up just under four pounds and then the plum tomatoes which again I picked up a little under a pound and paid 61 cents so those were the valley produce savings again only shows that it was two dollars and 49 cents um but the total I ended up paying after tax was 38.54 so that does it for me this week. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys give it a big old thumbs up. If you guys are new, we'd love it if you'd subscribe and I'll see you guys all in the next haul video. So bye guys.